Hey guys, welcome back. In this edition, we'll follow up on Microsoft Exchange Server leaks and its origins. A hacker gaining access to 150,000 of Mercado's security cameras. The new Rage exploit tool and three 15 years old vulnerabilities found in the Linux kernel. We'll begin with an update on the Microsoft Exchange vulnerability we have talked about last week. A Taiwanese security researcher indicated last week that the exploit he developed and privately shared with Microsoft in early January ended up in hostile hands. This exploit was used to attack 20,000 exchange servers before Microsoft deployed software patches out of band on March 2nd, and Microsoft is now investigating whether one of its partners is at fault. The researcher who developed the exploit code, Cheng Ta Tsai, who is known as Orange Tsai, tweeted on Friday that the attack code used in these breaches was similar to the code he developed and sent to Microsoft on January 5th. Tsai and DevCore, the company he works for, have been looking closely for bugs in exchange servers since October. According to a timeline DevCore published on the website it set up for the flaws, which is grouped together under the name of Poxilogon. Microsoft says it has found no indication that it was at fault, but the company is investigating whether one of its partners did. There's a chance we'll never know who leaked it, although Microsoft Map partners are likely in an investigative spotlight. We'll continue to monitor the situation and provide you updates as the story develops. In other hacking news, Mercada security cameras have been hacked by cyber activists. Mercada is a security camera firm that provides video security solutions for many companies and individuals around the world. The attacker managed to gain footage from over 150,000 of these cameras including footage from hospitals, jails, courts in the US and multiple other companies and countries, including Tesla's factories in Shanghai. The attacker gained access using an unprotected internal development system, which contained credentials of the account with super admin rights. Tilly Coltman, one of the hackers who claimed credit for the breaching of San Mateo, California-based Vecara, claimed that this attack was done out of curiosity for the freedom of information and against intellectual property. In response, Vercada has disabled all the internal administrator accounts to prevent any authorized access and says it's, they are still investigating. Moving on, we wanted to give a shout out to a new tool that caught our eye, RegExploit. This tool was designed by Ben Kahler of Dynasec with the goal of finding regular expression and out-of-service vulnerabilities. Regular expressions are sequences of characters that specify a search button using text processing tasks. A regular expression denial of service occurs when an input does not successfully match the regular expression pattern, thus overwhelming the regular expression engine, which will try to match this input in every possible way, causing a denial of service. RegExploit is designed to find these kind of attacks by scanning regular expression patterns and locating the vulnerabilities. It was officially released on March 11, but the developer had already used it to find 13 vulnerabilities before releasing it to the public. Now, our CVEs of the week. A look at three 15 years old CVEs that were found in the Linux kernel module iSCSI. These vulnerabilities have been present since the system was developed in 2006. Researchers from Grimm Cybersecurity Organization were the ones that found these flaws in the Linux kernel iSCSI component. The first vulnerability is a heat buffer overflow vulnerability that is caused by setting an attribute larger than one page. Second vulnerability is a kernel pointer leak that can be used to determine the address of the iSCSI transport structure. The last flaw was found in an out of bound kernel read vulnerability that can cause a data leak or denial of service when using a message that the driver fails to validate due to its size. By exploiting these vulnerabilities, an attack can cause denial of service, cause a data leak, or in some cases gain root privileges. The researchers from Grimm reported these findings to the Linux security team and patches correcting them have been released. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description down below. Don't forget to follow us on other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories.